Welcome to the Land of House channel. I'm Seth. I wanted to talk to you briefly about micro hydro intakes. I'm here at an install site in western North Carolina where they're using a Kiwanda screen. Let's go ahead and move over here and take a closer look at this. This will allow you to pull water into your micro hydro system while sloughing off debris such as sticks and leaves. It will still pull in some sand, which should not affect your turbine much. This particular system is from Elgin, which is a company known for making very large, big scale hydro units. In this case, they have designed a micro hydro intake that is only for about 200 gallons a minute. One of the most important parts of the micro hydro system is an intake that is both low maintenance and effective at pulling water in. The Kiwanda screen has metal strips that are positioned in a very specific way to suck water into the box while allowing debris to slough off the front of the box. This makes the unit self-cleaning. As you can see, there is about 200 gallons of water flowing in this creek. About 110 gallons is being sucked down into the box. If the hydro system in this install had bigger nozzles, it could suck down even more water than that. Basically, on this Kiwanda screen, any water that is within the top fin can be sucked down into the screen. This box is made of stainless steel and it has 6 inch outlets on both sides of the box that allow you to use a fern co fitting to connect to a pipe. This allows the water to flow from the lower section of the box down and out the pin stock. Mounting the Kiwanda screen is very important. In this case, the homeowner has a concrete block that allows this bolt and the one down there to keep the intake up against this block. Some will use a wooden structure here, but for this case, the concrete block has done very well. You can see there is a channel up there that brings the water down into the screen. And they have actually used a rock to slow down the water. They have also made a little channel to make sure the water stays up there and does not seep out around the sides. Although the screen is self-cleaning, you can see there is a little bit of debris that will still get stuck here, so every now and then there is a little bit of maintenance that needs to be done. But for the most part, these screens are self-cleaning. As you can see on this side, the fern co fitting is attached to the bottom of the box and that makes an airtight and watertight seal. Now in order for air to escape this box, it has some slits up here on the top. This will allow air to escape as water is going in the front. Now these boxes are made of stainless steel and are quite heavy. It's important to make sure that your support structure can support this much weight. This was another potential place for the intake. It would have reduced the 45 degree angles that they use to get away from the creek but it also would have lost about two feet of input head pressure. So there was a trade-off in both sides. And also this area is prone to having some washout on both sides and may eventually have the creek to reroute itself and go away from the intake. So definitely keep in mind the place that you have your intake to make sure it's going to be consistent over time. A Kiwanda screen intake like this can be quite costly, but from my experience with filming and actually installing this type of system myself, I can say it is 100% worth it. So if you want to get a Kiwanda screen like this, I will have a link in the description down below to Langston's Alternative Power. He is a dealer for the Elgin intake screens just like this. If you want to check out more micro hydro systems, then I have a playlist and several videos that you can watch on the Land House channel. I'm Seth and I will see you in the next video.